Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Mike. And I'm Donna. And today is Wednesday, January the 11th. And you're watching the home team. So let's get started. I have a little program for you here called Tourism Refueled. It just came out that Mark Bellinger, who's the Executive Director of Okaloosa County Tourist Development, came out in May, June, July, September, and October were the best months ever recorded in history of the area, and the bed taxes were collected were across the board with the most they've ever had. Okaloosa County is up 31.98%, and Walton is at 29.54%. Some aggressive marketing was able to lure the visitors back, so for all you investors out there, we have a lot of people coming, so it might be a good idea to rethink what you're, we're going to do for this next year. It looks like 2012 will bode well for you. Okay, we've got something new and exciting for the year 2012. We've had a lot of investors who are now starting to come back and look at land. That has been kind of dormant for the past couple years, but prices have been really getting good. So this year, uh, I want to tell you something about it, my partner, Mike. <clears throat> now, he comes from California. He's got 25 plus years building custom homes, and he's got over 60 custom homes built to his credit. So if you're thinking about getting a piece of land, want to consider having it built, we will be able to get you taken care of from beginning to end, and we would love to work with you in that facet. So that is something exciting. We're going to be rolling that out mid, May, June of this year. So keep that in mind as you weigh out all your options. This is for all the sellers out there. Last month, Mike gave you some tips on some small repairs that you can do to your home to get it ready to be sold. Um, some of those were a little pricey. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to give you some tips that you can do um, to your home that's very economical. Um, some don't cost anything at all. So um, just keep in mind that curb appeal is huge. So the first thing you need to do is think about your landscaping. Um, make sure your hedges are all trimmed, um, you know, pull all the weeds out of your flower beds. You can buy some mulch and, you know, remulch and make it look really nice. Um, you can power wash your house, power wash your sidewalks. Um, what's something that's really huge is your front door. You want your front door to look nice, maybe put a fresh coat of paint on it and, you know, make, make your home stand out. You want your home to stand out above all the others. So curb appeal is huge, and just remember that we've got to get them in the door. So really excited. We think 2012 is going to be be big. We've got a lot of buyers out there. So just remember, curb appeal is a really big deal. Okay, we got our sales numbers for you, and this time we're going to do something a little different. Naturally, we've had the past four or five years where the market has not been so great as we all know, and that's no surprise. But we wanted to do some comparisons because 2011, well, that just happened to be one of our best years. So where did 2011 end up compared to 2010 as a whole? Now, first I'm gonna talk about homes, and keep in mind this does include all the homes from all the real estate firms, and all this information is right from our real estate board. So, <clears throat> units sold for 2011 compared to 10, well, for the homes, they're up 23.6% for units sold. The price, well, they only dropped 2.3%. So what does that mean? Well, it seems like prices may be holding kind of true. So how does that compare to 2009 versus 2010? Well, if you go back that time frame, the units sold, okay, in 2010 compared to 2009, home units sold were down 5.2%, but the price was up just under 20%. So now let's look at that picture. Well, in 2009 versus 2010, prices were going through the roof uh, at 20% higher, but we weren't selling anything. I mean, sales were down 5.2%. Now you compare that to 2011, our prices with a 2.3% drop, well, our prices stayed pretty close to the same, but the sales number went up 23.6%. So we know that 2011, a lot of units, and again, I'm talking about homes, actually were sold in 2011. So as you take all that in consideration and plan out your portfolio for 2012, things look very promising. So this year we're kind of speculating that a lot of things are going to move, the prices are getting right, so it's definitely something you want to take a hard look at and compare these numbers because it does show that we're bouncing back. For our condos, well we got a little bit of a different story on that. When you look at 2011 compared to 2010, 
Well, the units sold, we definitely moved some. They were up 35.3%, but we also had a price drop of 11.4%. So our prices are still dropping in the condos, but we're turning a lot of them because a lot of investors, a lot of people are moving and gathering those up. Now when you compare that to the 2009-2010 series, well the units sold were up 24.5% and the price was down 9.7%. So what does that mean? Well not a whole lot of difference except for the units sold. So in 2010 compared to 2009 we sold 24%. 24.5% uh, and in 2011 we jumped up an additional 10% which got us to the 35.3%. Now I know all these percentages and all these numbers might be a little confusing but when you look at the whole picture basically what that means is our sales are up and our prices are still dropping. So as you look at the condos there are a lot of great deals out there. A lot of sellers are willing to wheel and deal so if you see a number uh, that is not quite in your budget let us know. Negotiating is a big factor in today's market. You'd be surprised how many sellers will take a look at an offer once they even get an offer. So a lot of promising again for 2012 in the condos. So add that to your portfolio. Don't forget about the land. We can get that going for you. Like I mentioned earlier, we we're going to start building houses. So these are the stats. We hope you're going to use them, enjoy them, study them, and keep in mind. We also have right down here to your right, you can print out the graphs. And this is going to cover a uh, chart that will show you the sales for 2009, 10, and 11. And it's all going to be compared to 2003 because that was the year prior to the market boom. And a lot of people want to see where do we stand when we were back in the good old days without the boom. <clears throat> so that is something you can compare at, take a look at it. Call us with any questions. We're here for you and want to help you out. In closing, we want to thank all of you for joining us today. Keep in mind, if you're seeing this show by checking out and coming across us on a magazine or you found us by YouTube, be sure to fill out the registry and that way our future shows will be emailed to you directly. And also, our silent partner Donna here, well, she is now going to be making pretty much a full-time presence. You're going to see a lot more of her. So we are definitely here for all your real estate needs. We're pretty excited about having her here too. And don't forget, if you're buying or selling real estate, be sure to call the homes.